In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up HDRI lighting and also see some of the advantages it has over more traditional light setups, three-point light setup, um, or using you know, our, our actual 3D lights in, in Cinema 4D. Okay, so in order to create uh, an HDR light setup, the first thing we need to do is create a sky object. Okay, so I'm going to left click on my environment objects, choose the sky. Okay, now the sky is a giant sphere that our entire scene is inside. And what we're going to do here is apply material that has an HDRI image loaded into the emission, if you're using an Uber material, or the luminance property, if you're using a standard material, and apply it to the sky. And if we have global illumination turned on, that image will be used to light our scene. Okay, so I think for right now I'll leave the sky visible. Um, it can get a bit annoying, but it'll, it'll help to make sure things are working okay. Uh, and so now what I want to do is create an Uber material. So I'll go create, materials, Uber. Okay, I'm going to pop open my node editor here. And Uber materials are my preferred materials for the, the standard and physical uh, renderers in Cinema 4D. Uh, I think they're great and allow us to transition to other renderers, Redshift, Octane, whatever. A little bit easier, okay? So what we wanna do here is find our image asset, which is actually under generator, but we'll go ahead and search for it anyway. Okay, you can see it's under generator, drag it in here. And what I'm gonna do is load in my image. Now, you guys should have some HDRIs, um, either from the materials practice exercise, perhaps from the uh, previous class, um, I'm going to go with Studio 7 here. Okay, there's nothing wrong with experimenting with different HDRIs and seeing which one you like the best. And I'm also getting a little bit of an issue where it doesn't seem to be showing me the preview of this. But I do know it's going to work. So once I've loaded in this image, I can see it's loaded in here. I want to take the result of this image and pipe it into my emission color. All right, there we go, zoom in a bit there. And then the last thing I wanna do is in the material channels, I wanna come in, uncheck diffuse, uncheck reflection, check on emission, all right? So I can go ahead and close this, apply this material to the sky, and typically you would see that image in you know, your perspective view here, uh, but like I said, I seem to be having some kind of issues. The last thing you wanna do is make sure you have global illumination added. Okay, and if you don't have global illumination added, I'll just delete it so I can show you guys. We come over here to effect and choose global illumination. Now my recommendation is while we're in here, go to the irradiance cache tab and set color refinement to 50%. That'll help smooth out any irregularities, okay? I'll have another video about render settings as well um, for those who are interested. All right, so that should do it. Close it. Now I can go ahead and render this. And this is what we get. Okay, so that image is being used to light this scene. Okay, and so like I said, I encourage you guys to experiment with different HDRI images. I like the studio ones, especially for logos and things like this, um, just because they give us a little bit of a cleaner look. We don't get a, a certain color washed over everything, okay, like we might from an outdoor one that has a blue sky, all right? So definitely start with the studio ones and, and kind of go from there, okay? So that's the basics of setting up an HDRI uh, light setup in Cinema 4D. It's really worthwhile because it, it lights our scene and also gives um, our reflective materials a lot of things to reflect because if we were to just kind of orbit around here, well, maybe not so much in my scene, but in your guys' scenes, you will see that sky, okay? And so it's, it's like a giant sphere that all of our objects can reflect if they have reflective materials, all right? So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have more coming up shortly.